when you think of a typical Saturday, you may think of sleeping in late, turning on the TV to watch cartoons, or whatever you may do to decompress from the work or school week. Today, volunteers were out in the city giving their Saturdays back to the community to help clean up one of Spokane's most well-known natural resources. It's a highlight of our city that's hard to miss. Spokane River is just such an important asset for our community. It flows right through town. We all get to enjoy it. Even if it's just looking, you know, you're driving over the bridge and you look upstream and you get to see the falls or the gondola. I just think it's a, it's just so cool to live in a community that has this like beautiful river that runs right through it. But the river's beauty can often be tarnished as trash and litter pile up on banks and disturb ecosystems. If you just think like, oh, just one soda can and you just toss it aside thinking it won't cause any harm, you should probably think twice about it because that soda can could probably cause a lot of disturbances for her anything that's living in the water and also the people out here as well. So for six hours each year, volunteers are invited to participate in a citywide river cleanup. 16 service locations are scattered across Spokane, from as far west as Down River Road to as far east as Magnolia and Riverton. Volunteers say all kinds of trash can end up in the river. Broken glass, little scraps of metal, uh, found a shoe, found a, a backpack, plastic bottles, bottle caps. Like that's like the micro trash that, you know, blows around and you just, it's very small, but like when you're down there, you see a lot of that. And there's no telling how much trash is truly floating through the Spokane River. But as made evident by the piles of trash bags waiting for city pickup, the river is cleaner today than it was yesterday. The less trash that we have out here, including a lot of scrap metal, the more chance we can get our rivers all cleaned up. And because just a few people decided to give up sleeping in late or turning on the TV to watch cartoons this morning, our city, our community, and our river are cleaner because of it. In Spokane, Janelle Finch, Crime 2 News.